Oh my gosh. It smells so delicious. I can't wait. It's definitely worth it. How does Germany do it? Seriously. Hey guys, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. For the past nine months, we've been accomplishing a lifelong dream of ours to live internationally and make travel a consistent part of our life. Germany is our current home and one that we have loved exploring. This Christmas season is our very first spent here in Germany. If you watch some of our latest videos, you will see we have explored two different Christmas markets, found our perfect Christmas tree, and even celebrated St. Nicholas Day for the first time. In this video, we're doing something we had yet to do, and that is revisit one of our travel destinations. Watch us as we explore one of Germany's famous fairy tale towns during Christmas, and be surprised in the process. It is chilly. I've got a big coat on. I've got another windbreaker jacket and a long sleeve shirt on and the wind is starting to cut through everything right now. This is one of the differences between here and what we're used to in Utah where it's not as humid and so the cold doesn't seem as bad when you got blah blah blah. But today we are very excited because we are back in Wolfenburg, Ob der Taube and this is gonna be just a fun time for us. The Christmas markets are still canceled, but we're excited to see what things are open. Last time we were here in Rothenburg, we heard a lot of you say Christmas time is the time to be here, so we're gonna go check out to see why. Surprisingly, there's a lot more stands than we thought we were gonna be here. We just expected most of the shops and stuff to be open, but it seems like there's a lot of food stands and a lot of other Christmas decorations that you can go and see. So we're pretty excited to see what it looks like. This downtown area is decorated so beautifully. Oh my gosh, the Christmas spirit is strong here. Oh my gosh, look at these dancing You got some? Hot chocolate? Yeah? Okay, Daddy's gonna Daddy's gonna taste the hot cocoa. It, it might be a little hot, okay? That was all cream. Put up. What is that with it? Is that cocoa? Hot cocoa? Oh my gosh. This is actually the best hot chocolate I've ever had. Like, it's rich. What is different than in this hot cocoa compared to the one I make at home or ones that I've gotten in America? This is actually. Thinking about it, this is the first time I've ever had hot cocoa here in Germany. But it's not going to be the last. <laughs> well, it didn't go a little bit in your nose. <laughs> So if you watched our last video while we were here, Tanner got this gelato. It was actually one of our first outings and Tanner's first time speaking German. So it brings back a lot of fun memories. But besides that, it was honestly the best gelato I've ever had here in Germany. I don't know what it is. Rotenberg and their hot cocoa, their gelato. It cannot be topped. 
The thing with this gelato is it was like actually like a purplish color. We want to say it was more of a black cherry type of a flavor, but it had Nutella mixed in. And I swear, you guys, I have not found any ice cream or gelato that has like fresh Nutella mixed in with the gelato. It was so good and I'm craving it and they don't have it here right now because they have different flavors due to Christmas season. So. If you know what kind of ice cream or gelato I'm talking about, please comment below or where I can find something similar to it because we will drive far distances <laughs> for this ice cream. This is probably one of the most exciting moments of the day is finding out how delicious these things are gonna taste. So this is a Rindwurst, which is a beef bratwurst. And this is a pretzel raclette, which has some salami slices and cheese melted on a pretzel. It smells so delicious, I can't wait. Here we go. This is not nearly as good as the Nuremberger Bratwurst, but still has a really good flavor. The mustard is really nice too. It's not terribly strong. So, very nice, especially on this chilly day. You guys, this just looks so delicious. So, I'm gonna dive in. Mm. Going in for more. Oh man, oh, that was a big piece. <laughs> mm. That says it all. So good. Yeah, I wanted to go for another bite of the salami because I didn't feel like I got enough on the first bite. And that salami just adds a perfect touch of salt to such a savory dish. It's chewy, but it's got that melted cheese, the oils that come in your mouth, and then that salt really the perfect meal for a cold day to be able to walk around, hold it, or just sit down and enjoy it. As you guys have seen, I got an upgrade with the beanie and also a puzzle, which I'm really excited about. We found the cutest toy store. It seems like Germany has a lot of those, and here in Rotenburg is no exception. It was really cute to walk in and just see how much variety they had for all different types of ages. Here you can see I'm standing in front of this Christmas museum and store. It's typically open year round, but when we came last time, it was closed due to COVID. It's open now with 2G requirements, and there is quite the line. We're still excited if we're gonna hop in or not. Will has been such a trooper on this trip so far and we're not sure how much further we can stretch it, but it looks really fun and it's just been amazing to see the environment here, all of the decorations. I said it before, but they are breathtaking. We can see why you guys love to come here. Little Miss Willa has fallen asleep and it's given us an opportunity to walk outside of the gates and just take in the views here. It's really fun to be able to reflect back on our trip to Rotenburg back in the springtime to now see it's winter. We've done so much in that time from exploring northern Germany down to southern Germany and as many places as we can in between. We've learned a lot, we've changed along the way, and our perspective about Germany continues to change and evolve and just grow. We really do love living here in Germany and we're continually surprised at how incredible this country is. Seriously, from the spring, the summer, the fall, and now winter, we are surprised. We keep thinking we couldn't love a season more and then a new one comes and we're like, oh my gosh, how does Germany do it? Seriously. They're surprises among surprises, and we're just so grateful that they're positive. Although, of course, there's some lows with this experience. We truly are happy to be here.
Last time we were here, I didn't make it up to the city wall, but it's definitely worth it. If you can make it up those steps, come. It's cool. You guys know I had to go back for round two. It has been such a blast being here in Rotenburg for the second time. Who knew we were gonna have so much fun and that it was gonna be such a reflective moment for Tanner and I as well. It's so interesting because we feel like we saw so many other things that we didn't catch the first time. So it's really fun and shows us that we definitely need to go back to a lot of these places we say we want to again. We didn't end up going into the museum, but the little bit that we did see looked really fun. There was huge nutcrackers and tons of Christmas nativities and fun decorations there. So I'm sure it would have been a blast. Maybe next time, I'm sure some of our friends and family will want to come here. Thank you guys for being here. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next video.